Hey, hey, garden gals and guys, it's Steph with Tiny's Garden, and today I am starting my Iceland poppies. I'm having a little trouble with my soil because it's frozen. I keep part of my soil outside, and I'm going to start these Iceland poppies in a cell tray. And so when I brought it in, the soil was very hard, cold, actually frozen. So I put some water on it. I have rummaged around in it, mixing it up, and I think we're getting to a place that we're good to go. It's pretty much holding a shape, but there's not water crumbling from it when I squeeze it. So I think we're good to go. We're gonna get this soil into the cell tray first. And I have 15 minutes to do this. I've gotta take my son to T-ball, so we might have to uh, take a momentary break in a second, but let's get this soil in. <laughs> To get air pockets out of the soil, I like to kind of bang the tray on the table so that the soil settles and then I can come back in and add any more soil that needs it, which is usually around the outside of the tray. Okay, I've got to go take my son to T-ball. We'll come back and put the seeds on. Woohoo! Go! Briggs! And we're back. Now, first things first, we need to label our varieties. So I'm using a garden marker and using these labels as well as painter's tape on my cell tray. This is a 50 cell cell tray. So I am going to have champagne bubbles be 20 cells, which will be to here, and then sherbet mix 15 and Iceland Poppy's Pastel Meadows 15. I'll go ahead and place my tags at the beginning of each. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20. My next variety is going to start here, three rows over. My last variety will be there. Iceland poppy seeds are very, very tiny and the germination rate is not very high. Like this one, germination rate is 78%. So I'm going to put around four or five in each cell. It's kind of difficult to keep them separate. Last year I broadcast sowed them basically, which means I put several in each cell and just kind of sprinkled them all over the cell tray. And I had to thin a lot. So I don't want to do quite as many in each cell this year. So I'm aiming for a four to five. We'll see. Well, that's a bummer. That's not a hundred seed. So Scratch that plan. I'm going to go one in each because I think there's about 20 in there and I have 20 cells to fill because Champagne Bubbles so far is my favorite. I've not grown the other two, but these were absolutely gorgeous last year. So I want at least 20 plants if I can get them. Then I'll just lightly lick the end of a chopstick. A toothpick also works. I just don't have any and put one in each cell, laying it right on top of the soil because they don't want to be covered. Now I'm simply taking one and putting it on top of the soil and moving on to the next cell. I'm so sorry the lighting is terrible today, guys. This video is a bit of a mess, but I tried to make it work in the time I had. So I just put one to three or four seeds on the end of my chopstick and lightly put them on top of the soil. They don't want to be covered, so I'm just dragging it a little bit until I can see it has landed on top of the soil, which you can usually see. And if you're unable to see it, if you just do a light drag like I'm showing here, it usually works just fine. Sherbert mix is next from Flora. Flip my tags around, got them wrong. Last one we have is Iceland Poppy Pastel Meadows from Florette. Okay, they are all in. My last two varieties are going to be more heavy handed 
in the first one because I had more seeds and I just wanted to use all of the seeds up, but that's okay. I'll come back in and thin after they have germinated. Now I'll put a light layer of vermiculite on them, which helps with moisture control, just a fine layer, not too much. And then they will set on a heat mat for about seven to 12 days from 65 to 75 degrees. And then I'm just going to lightly mist them in, not too much because they're such small seeds. I don't want them to get displaced, just a very light misting on top. And when I come in to water these daily, it'll be from the bottom. So I'll put water into the bottom of the tray and water them that way, not on top. Last step I'm going to do is put on a humidity dome. There we go. This fan is not on right now. I won't do that until later when they're bigger and stronger. But there's where they will sit for the next seven to 12 days. When I was moving that up here, I just spilled vermiculite everywhere. Do you ever have those days? It's one of those. Now my plan is three weeks from today, after those have germinated and have grown on a little bit, I will move these to the greenhouse to grow on between 45 and 55 degrees. This is another plant that's very cold hardy and does not like heat. So when they get to that point, they don't wanna be growing in a 70, 73 degree house temperature. They want to be somewhere cooler. I could maybe pot them up into containers, but I didn't do that last year and I still had really good luck growing them, so I will likely just keep them in this cell tray unless I feel differently in a few weeks. But for now, the plan is to keep them in the cell tray, grow them on, and then we will plant them out into the garden sometime in March. Iceland poppies can be a little tricky. Again, their germination rate isn't super high, but it is one of my favorite cut flowers. I think they're just so beautiful. The texture and the different colors, really unique, fun, bright colors, which is my jam. So if you haven't grown them before, I really recommend giving it a try. I think they're worth a try. If I can do it, you can do it. Please comment below and let me know if you have any additional tips and tricks for germinating your Iceland poppies and growing them. This will be my second year doing it. I had great luck last year. I'm hoping it continues this year. Hopefully that was helpful, everybody. We will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and happy planting. Bye.